Hi everybody, welcome back to the, wow, very busy Spanish main, uh, and, um, kind of, um, cleverly called the Spanish main, because look at all these Spanish ships, there's a treasure ship here, there's two treasure ships here, alright, we're going in, Jesus Christ, the Don Fernando 2, uh, we're a little bit damaged, but it doesn't really matter, the treasure ship has, well, there's two of them, I mean, this one we can maybe, um, board and do something. Whoa, my god, there's the other one. Jesus, there's two treasure ships. Why are these things sailing together? My god. All right, it is way too early in the morning to be fighting this many ships at once. Okay, fine. Big volley. Come on. Where's all my guns? I got 31 guns and 53 crew. That'll be because of oh, Jesus. All right, we may have to actually escape here because Christ almighty. It looks like the sails are taking a bit of a beating. All right, all guns have been loaded. Oh no! I think we missed completely. All right, we are out of here. We took on two treasure ships hilariously uh, whilst we were we're gonna die. Oh my god! Can we actually get away from these things? <laughs> oh shit! All right, well the battle is raging on a little bit. I mean, we may be able to with 43 crew. No, there is no way. Look at this. These these things are packed. Oh shit! Look, they're doing a pincer movement on me as well. <laughs> oh no! Why did I attack these things? All right, fine. Have at ye, salty dogs. Fucking take on both of you. All right, we're gonna have to use our best sword fighting. Jesus! All right, that was okay. I think. Okay, a chop, a parry, a thrust. All right, we have the kind of advantage, maybe? Oh, God. Not really. All right, we've got this now. Oh, shit. We weren't supposed to duck that one. Oh, what's he doing? Fucking taunting me? What a prick. Oh shit. Alright, we gotta jump this one and... Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, I literally, I cannot believe it. We've somehow managed to beat this guy with our leather vest and puffy shirt underneath the leather vest. Look, it's like bulging out. Poor Alanda's just got like 50 million layers. Alright, we'll take these 20 sailors because I think we're about to have another sword fight. So 20 sailors is gonna work. Great. Welcome aboard. Holy shit. We plundered 1,716 gold pieces. All right, should we keep her? Fleet speed is going to be reduced. Should we sink her? Okay, we still have 84. Um, oh my god, look at how much food. Okay, look, we're going to drop a bunch of food on here so that we can take the luxuries and stuff. And I think we're going to need some cannons as well. I mean, currently, we, we do not need this much food. Look, we're wasting a lot of money here, but I think the luxuries are going to be worth it to have. Look at this. We're just like setting a whole bunch of food onto <laughs> onto the ship just to sink it to the bottom because we just have like this burning hatred of food uh, and we have plenty of it so we don't really need it okay i am going to take like a bunch of guns though uh just because we can always use a couple of well 87 guns though christ i don't think we need 87 guns i mean maybe 70 guns <laughs> fuck it fuck it all right fine one down Okay, we are not going to fight that one. We have a Spanish pirate hunter on our backs now as well. We still have Baron Raimondo's ship, plus about 50 other ships as well. <laughs> We're going to have to find a friendly port. Um, where is a somewhere? Okay, there's Caracao. Caracao is up here. We're going to have to head here. We're going to have to limp into port because we now have two Spanish pirate hunters after us. And it looks like the treasure ship is coming back. For more? Oh my god. Look at these things are... Alright, we're dodging. We're dipping in... No, please. That hit us. That's hitting us. It's gonna sink us. We're just gonna get sunk out here. Look at We're going against the... Oh my god, please. How can these guys shoot me and I can't shoot them? Please. Stop doing this. Come on, get out of here. We've got pirates and we got pirate hunters on us. Look. Maybe they'll get confused and start... Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. Fucking Royal Sloop Hermoyne. We're gonna have to do this now. This fucking incessant bastard. Jesus Christ. Here, have some of this. We're gonna fucking sink this motherfucker if we can. Maybe we should chain shot, actually. Alright, come on, crew. Load up the guns. We're gonna need them. Alright, we're gonna rip up his sails. There. Sails are all ripped up. Look at that. He's not gonna be able to use them as bed sheets now. Um, as like a, a backup because of all the holes and stuff. Of course, the water and the wind is gonna get through. Alright, cut the solid defense. Yeah, we're fucking ready for you, bitch. All right, I'm not quite ready for you. This guy is quite fast, but not a match for... Whoa! 
He's no match for a Landon. That's right. Look at this. Whoosh. Pow. He parried that one. Oh my god. Boom. And he parried that one too. Oh god. I parried that one. Oh, he dodged that one. Oh god. And I... I went the wrong way. Jesus Christ. Alright. A big sweep. And a big sweep. Oh, God, that was close. Oh my God. Look, we get no music or anything. Fucking <laughs> busting out of his shirt of landing. Victorious once again. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is crazy. All right, we're gonna keep a royal sleep, I believe. Uh, it's gonna reduce our fleet speed though, apparently. Should we just take it anyway? Yeah, let's fucking take it, who cares? Look at how slow we're going now. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit, is that, is that pirate ship at the back ours? I thought we were being attacked by that ship as well, but it turns out that it's just ours. All right, well, there we go. We've got like 10 ships now. We just have to um, slowly limp back to Krakow. Everybody on the shore right now is just laughing their heads off at this like sorry sight. We've got like this fucking bruised and battered parade of pirate ships making its way through a thunderstorm now uh, and getting... Oh, look at There's a friendly Indian village. All right. One thing that we could do with getting is medicinal herbs, because Alandon is no spring chicken anymore, okay? He's getting old. He's like 35 years old. We've been at sea for about like 10 years now. Let's see if we can trade with the chief. You got anything for us, chief? Okay. Oh, it look, appears that the chief doesn't really have much, but he's got some cheap sugar, so we'll take that. Okay, thanks, chief. Uh, let's talk to him, see what he says. Our warriors grow tired of the presence of the European colonists. Our war canoe is prepared. Which city is weak and ripe for destruction? Um, I don't know if you noticed, Chief, but I'm not feeling too good. And I'm getting old. Do you have any herbs for me? Because I don't care about any of these places. Don't attack this place, because that's where I have to go. Go to Port Royale. It's like fucking millions of miles away. Your stupid canoe is going to take like 20 years to get there. There, Port Royale. All right. Great. Thanks, Chief. All right. Let's check our status. Uh, I'm 32 years old now and in poor health. You've been at sea for four months. Your crew of 119 is very happy. Well, I can imagine that they would be. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of money. We have a lot of cannons. And uh, we've just come into about 66 tons of luxuries. So I would be surprised if they weren't happy. Um, but all the same, we do need to actually find uh, some way to prolong our life. Because I think... Just busting out of your immersion and RP for a second. Uh, I think t getting old and retiring is a thing in this game. Uh, and we at least want to save one member of our family. And hopefully we can sell all these fucking ships before we retire as well. Because I think five ships is too many. I mean, it's cool to have a convoy out, out here at sea. But at the same time, I don't know if it's, um, if it's very useful at all, really. Uh, I mean, we're going really slow. I think I would just rather have the gold, and I'm sure the crew would agree. Do we want to stop at a pirate's haven? I feel like, yeah. Why not? We're going to stop at this pirate's haven. We're going to see what they have here. Maybe they have a tavern. Maybe some salty dogs can join us and fix our sails or something, because we're in pretty bad condition. Oh, look, there's pirate raiders here as well. Little ranger. Talk to the captain. Hello, Captain. My men have gambled away their last golden doubloons. It is time to take the seas to plunder and pillage. Which city is most weakly defended? Well, I think Port Royale needs plundering in a major way, actually. All right, very well. Plunder awaits. All right, thanks, Captain. Oh, shit. Here they go. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Great. Let's go to the tavern. What do you got? Hello? 25 men. Welcome aboard, mateys. Okay, does this guy have any herbs? Mysterious Traveler offers to sell you part of a secret map showing the location of the part Jean Lafitte's buried treasure for 300 big ones. I'll take it. Oh shit, where's this close to? We may never know. Alright, we have to find another one. Hey, what about you? It's rumored that the San Antonio bound for Rio de la Hacha is carrying over a thousand in gold. Oh, you don't fucking say, Toots. Holy shit. We're gonna cross paths with that thing, likely, as well. Shipwright in St. Kitts can upgrade your ship with copper plating, if you like. Your ship will turn more quickly. That would be handy, actually. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, what does the merchant have? Oh my god, the, the merchant does not have a lot of gold. It's gotta be said. Uh, and has pretty crappy prices all around, too. Alright, let us repair. The each ship Blackbeard has been fully repaired. Let's also uh, repair the Real, which is, of course, um, what's-his-face's stupid-ass ship. 
Uh, we could probably sell the Perla. Do we want to hang on to a War Galleon with 90 tons or a Fast Galleon with 80 tons? I think we're going to sell the Perla. We're also going to sell the Santissima Trinidad, which I don't even remember getting. And also the Hermoin, which we uh, fought gallantly for and uh, won as well. Great. Uh, on second thought, no. All right, let's repair it and we'll take it with us. We have a Royal Sloop uh, and we have two, way too many cannons as well. Do we want to upgrade Triple Hammocks? It's got like everything else pretty much. There we go. Look at the upgrades on this Royal Sloop. Holy shit. All right, great. We are ready to sail away. We want to go to Caracao and probably... Oh, look at all the raiders are heading to Port Royale. That'll be our doing. The people of Port Royale will never know either. We've just been like sowing the seeds of discontent down here in the south. All right, keep up. We got New Hope, an English settlement, and uh, we're nearly at Caracao. And uh, obviously we'll fight some other shit uh, along the way if we need to, but I don't think we actually need to. What we really need to do is we need to track down once again Baron Raimondo uh, so that we can get the last piece of that map to find out where my sister is. So we're gonna have to like follow up some leads and stuff. We might even need to like dance with the governor's uh, plain daughter in Caracao to see because she might have like some sort of idea. Maybe she wants a ruby ring. I think I have a ruby ring that I can give her. Uh, and then we can find out where um, my sister is. Oh, shit. Watch out. Look out, there's going to be a collision. No. No, okay, great. Caracao. Hello. Talk to the governor straight away. Yes. Oh, my dear Admiral Landon, please come in. As you know, we are at war with the evil Spanish and the perfidious English. I understand that recently you captured a Spanish treasure ship and you captured a Spanish royal sloop. Excellent, the king will be pleased. Holy shit. My god, we are a baron with the Dutch without even really trying, actually. Congratulations. All right, cool. I am happy to increase the size of your state in Caracao, which is obviously quite the shithole, for, by 50 acres. Wonderful. Hey. There she is, too. Just as we expected, although... Kind of wasn't expecting to be so surprised by just how plain she actually is once again. Hello, Baron Alandon. I understand you're quite a successful young swashbuckler. I'm not so young anymore, actually. I'm 32, and I'm in poor health as well. Do you have any herbs? I've always dreamt of wearing a flashing ruby ring or a sparkling diamond necklace. I just happen to have a ruby ring, toots. I don't really want to give it to you, but I need some info on where Baron Raimondo is. So here you go. Oh my goodness, you shouldn't. Well, okay, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, great. My Baron Alandon, you are such a charming rogue. I have information that may interest you. A 2,000 gold reward is offered for a certain Mr. U. Farthingsworth, who is wanted by the Crown for embezzlement. I have reason to believe that he is hiding the Port Royale. The tavern keeper there will assist you. Okay, fine. We will go there to Port Royale, and we will see about... Um, getting that guy and making some big ones as well all right we want to sell some luxuries big time uh we need to offload some of this stuff so that we can sell that royal sloop it's just like slowing us down with everything else uh we could probably sell some get rid of some of these guns too i think maybe just hang on to like 40 I think we only need 40 guns uh we'll take all the sugar out of here too spice as well and let's grab a, a bit of food even though we sunk a bunch of food down to the bottom of the sea all right great we have uh wow nearly 10 grand if you can believe that and uh are there any upgrades or anything here no no fucking what a waste i just totally fucking upgraded this for like no reason 825 gold the fucking royal sloop is like pretty sweet though right you think it's better than a frigate it's hard to tell. I mean, it only holds 60 tons, so we'd have to tow this thing behind us as well. But it'd probably be, like, really fucking fast. Probably a lot faster than the Eat Shit Blackbeard. What do you think? Ah, fuck it. We're selling it. <laughs> there. The Eat Shit Blackbeard is too cool to sell. All right, fine. Off to Port Royale we go, then. We're going to go um, stop an embezzler, apparently. We're going to go uh, stop an embezzler. We're going to get like two grand for it, and then hopefully we'll get some information about my sister so that we can rescue her as well. And also, we need to um, get some herbs as well. Maybe this guy will offer me some medicinal herbs in exchange for his freedom after I fight him. He looks like an old-ass man. Like, it's probably not even going to be much of a fight. He's probably just going to surrender straight away. He's going to be like, oh my god. A middle-aged man wearing a puffy shirt and a leather vest. How could I ever compete? I surrender to you, Alandon. Please do not hurt me. Here, have some medicinal herbs. I'll make you feel young again. 
and then we'll be fine. We'll have some more time to go out and find my sister. Ah, oh, shit, I just realized, though, too. We've sent lots of war canoes and pirates to this place. <laughs> Port Royal may no longer be uh, part of England. It may just be, like, a complete and utter wasteland. It'll just be, like, imagine you get there and... Whoops, wrong button. Imagine you get there and then you land... And then the game just like transitions into Fallout instead, so that you're just like in this wasteland and there's just like these busted up Indian war canoes everywhere and there's like dead bodies all over the place and you have to like scrimp and save and <laughs> salvage through the rubble to like survive because your ship obviously has a hole in the hull because it crashed into an Indian war canoe that was just like sticking out of the water or whatever. That would be crazy. All right, Rayal. Getting close. It looks like Port Royal is still a wealthy English trading post and possibly the pirate raiders and Indian war canoes had zero effect on it whatsoever. Alright, we've got another sword fight. It'll be like the, holy shit, like the fifth sword fight today uh, in a minute. We're going to go visit the tavern. We're going to speak to the barkeep. And we're going to yes. find out about this embezzler. His name is Embezzler U Farthingsworth. <laughs> yes, he must answer to me. I'm ready. Let's go for the cutlass because we're comfortable with it. Holy shit, this guy can barely make it up the stairs. It's so slow. All right, he is going to go for one of those. Fine. We'll just like underhand chop him. Oh my god, how did I manage to do that? I think I dodged that, but it was the wrong one. All right, we're going to have to go with one of these. Oh my god. Got to go for the parry and the thrust and then the kick downstairs. Mr. U Farthingsworth is crippled on the floor. He's got quite the attire on, but he's no match for my puffy vest uh, with a leather jacket over the top of it. Oh, we want to duck this one. Whoosh! God, this guy's got the moves, doesn't he? Oh my god. Here we go. I don't know why I've got like the little things above my head. I guess it's because I keep hitting the wrong pow. There. Lights out, granddad. Oh. You are a master swordsman, sir. I will return to face justice in Caracao. You have certainly earned your reward, but perhaps a gift of this rare ruby ring will encourage you to overlook the overblown charges against me? Uh, no. You're gonna stand trial, old man. I'm gonna take the 2,000 bucks because I don't really want another ruby ring. I was really hoping for herbs, actually. Oh well. Great. This is the tavern? Oh, 19 salty dogs. Welcome aboard. What about you? You got anything? Some, oh, tell me more about Martinique. Okay, great. Uh, so they have, uh, I've been told that this is the prices, and actually, um, I'll be honest, I did realize it was the prices. I just thought that it was funny that it said food for, and to imagine an entire town with only four pieces of food to share amongst them or whatever. But anyway, that's the info. What about you? It's rumored that the Spanish treasure fleet is headed for Havana with a fortune in gold bouillon. Okay, great. And, uh, we've already talked to this guy as well. Let's see what the governor has to say. Maybe we've been promoted with England, no? As you know, we are at war with the slimy French. Oh, the king has ordered me to dispatch an ultimatum to the Dutch city of Nassau, which will surely lead to a war with Holland. The ultimatum will be carried by the mail runner Queen Elizabeth. Please ensure that this vessel arrives safely at its destination. All right, I'll escort it personally. Great. Okay. All right. We are on the search for medicinal herbs and stuff as well. Uh, because we need to um, fix our health, because we're in pretty bad shape. Uh, and we now have a quest uh, to escort this ship to Nassau, um, so that they can deliver an ultimatum and have a war with Holland, uh, which is fine. I, I don't really mind. Uh, I'm moonlighting with like pretty much everyone out here, except for the Spanish, uh, so it's not like a huge deal. All right, great. Uh, we're still kind of getting close to finding my sister, but uh, we're still a long way, so we still need to find Baron Raimondo again, once he decides to resurface, uh, which just means visiting taverns and stuff like that, and talking to governor's daughters to find out more information. If we can get that last map piece, uh, we can find the uh, treasure chest that they have buried my sister alive in, somewhere out here in the Caribbean, which is awful. Uh, it's completely awful, but unfortunately not everybody has the uh, Kill Bill skills to bust out of a treasure chest underground and dig their way up uh, topside, uh, including my sister. So we're going to have to rescue her manually instead. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Join me next time uh, where we will um, continue on. We will uh, we'll escort that uh, boat and we'll try to find out uh, where the last piece of the map is for my sister and then rescue her. It's going to be great. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.